Hello, welcome to a random video about reading. My reading process is weird right now, so I'm just making a random video to talk about it and what I'm reading. Why not? I used to be very have to finish a book if I'm reading it, and the only exception to that would be if I had to take it back to the library. Now it's just slowly delving into chaos. The other day, I wanted to read, and so I just grabbed every book on my to-read shelves that struck my interest along with any of the books that I was currently reading at the time, and now I'm not even sure what of these I'm reading or not anymore. A Hundred Cupboards. I know I'm reading this. I'm rereading it. I wanted to continue with the series, but I had to reread this one first, I guess. It is good. I recommend. I'm almost through with it. That's gonna be a rare saying in this video. I'm almost through with it. Because a lot of these books I just kind of just started, and, like, I'm not sure if I'll ever continue or not. That's a fun thing about reading a whole bunch of books at once. They automatically filter out. You only have so much time to read. So obviously the ones that you really like you're going to actually continue reading on while the, all the others are going to automatically just be forgotten about. Which is sometimes a bad thing if you're reading a whole bunch of really good books at once because that will still happen because, again, only have so much time. But it helps with not reading average books and forcing yourself through those because average is boring. Redwall, I'm sure you are not surprised to see this. I have been in the middle of this for literally forever. And then I restarted it, and then I'm still in the middle of it forever. These three books I've had and I've been reading, but like they, I put them all in a place where I couldn't see them well, and so I kind of just forgot them. 39 Clues, which is going downhill in my opinion. And Dante's Inferno, which I do actually want to finish reading. So I should probably put this where I will actually do that. I've also gotten a whole lot less particular about how long I wait to read in the books, because I always feel like if I take too long to read a book, then I won't get the story right or something and I'll forget things. Which is true, but now I'm less stressed about it. I've not started these, or this, or that, or that. Or that. I read the first chapter of Phantom of the Opera. I didn't really like it that much. I was hoping to like it more. I'm a little scared that this is just not gonna be my thing. Literally just a few minutes ago I started reading Room by Emma Donahue. I read the first chapter. This I'm sure is gonna be a good book because the first few lines had me read the full chapter and that's just how you know it's gonna be a good book because good books have good first chapters. Room wasn't even in my stack that I had downstairs of books that were interesting to me. It was just on the shelf. Usually I'd stop myself from just picking a random book off the shelf because it interests me and that's what I'm feeling because I'm always scared of starting too many books at once. I used to have a rule of I could only be reading two or three books at once because I knew that I'd start forgetting about one after two or three, but now I consider that a good thing. The Book Thief, I'm taking my time to get through, but I am working on it slowly. I also just finished James and the Giant Peach, which was nice. Also Dawn Quixote, which I'm scared that I will never finish ever in life. Although I keep having to remind myself that I think that this is a bind up of two books, so it's really only like about this much. But that's still a lot. I am enjoying it now that I'm into it. All those little poems at the beginning, I had to push through a little bit. Lots of chapters. But they're fairly short chapters, which is nice. I'm a little bit into this, which is Pax. I'm at chapter 4. It seems good, but I think this is going to be one of the average books that just I forget about. Peanuts comics at night. I like them. Also, my friend reminded me of Winnie the Pooh, and so I rewatched the movie because I was really in the mood. And I've also been reading through the stories. I've gotten through most of them, and I only have four left, but I'm sort of out of the mood now, so I'm just going to leave these by my bed or something until I'm back in the mood, which hopefully is fairly soon. The books aren't exactly like the movies, too. They have, like, a different personality to them. I feel like the video is over because I've gotten through all of the books, but I'm not really sure because I'm not sure what the goal of this video is. I just know that it exists. Taking stickers off of books for the first time 
and since you're getting them, these came out really nicely. I guess the video is over now. I don't know if it is or not. I don't know what I'm doing. I don't know what this video is. Goodbye.